Let's learn about the Inbox Zero system and how it helps you to get control of your email. The Inbox Zero system adopts an assembly line process to all that input you get that comes from email. So there's a set of processes or steps that you want to go through when you see email. So anytime an email comes in, you want to look at it and say, should I delegate it? Can I pass it off to somebody else? That might, Probably if it's a gift for your spouse, you might not want to pass that off to somebody else. Uh, just say it. Uh, the next step is action it. Do you want to start doing something on it or put it in a, a project of some sort that will get actioned later? Anyway, it's an email that has some information that requires an action to be done at some later date or to put into uh, your workflow system. The other thing you could do is just do it. If it asks you to do something and it's quick, just go ahead and take care of it. And lastly, you can archive it or delete it. If you're going to delegate it, that's your chance again to pass it off. But you have to ensure your systems make it easy to delegate items, that you have somebody that you can delegate to, that you have somebody you could forward that email to and have them handle it, or you have a system in place, and we'll talk more about that later, where when you put it into the system, it automatically gets delegated off to the proper person. Next thing is to action it, and that's where you dump it into your workflow system directly. And again, we'll talk more about that later. Next thing is just do it. Sometimes it's better just to take care of whatever the email is asking you to do. And generally the rule on that is if it takes two minutes or less, you should just do it and get it done. Because it'll probably take longer than two minutes to get it into your system, to delegate it, to action it, to whatever, than it will be just to get it finished. Lastly, you can always archive it or delete it. Deleting it is a lot of fun, by the way. Archiving is great because you can set up folders in your email box. And almost every email program now has a way to set up folders. And you can throw things into these uh, folders. And it can be by specifically by person. Or if it's just something you kind of don't probably need, but you just aren't ready to throw it away because you're worried about it, I just put that into a general archive folder that has nothing specific tagged to it. That way I have that sense of security. It turns out I'll go back and look at that archive folder, and I never did need any of those emails. But I feel happy knowing it's there, and I've got it out of my inbox. So here's some final tips. Check email at timed intervals. I know when I'm doing something that requires some creativity, such as making this very video, I turn off all my emails, because otherwise I'll check it all the time. Your inbox is not a to-do list. So you control your inbox, it doesn't control you. It's tough if you let your inbox tell you or help you decide what you need to do. It's convenient to come in and just look at your inbox and say, I'll work on this, this, or that, but it's not very efficient. View email as something to process, not something to answer. So when people talk to you and say, hey, what's going on? You make sure that you don't say to them, oh, I've answered a thousand emails today. Rather, say, I've processed a thousand emails today. And if you must, you could always declare email bankruptcy. And that's where you go in and simply delete everything that you have. And then if it was really that important, they would email you again.